Hello and welcome to a culinary edition of Beer Bros. Today we head south of the border to try some Mexican food. So for our first dish of the week we have mole, made with beer. Ooh. I believe you did some research on what mole is. Culinary wise, it's just a group of spices and chocolates and you know, kind of knickknacks, whatever you can throw together, day old bread. Okay. The backstory for, for mole, the the one that most historians like to like to end on is that um, it was a group of nuns that were um, running a, a nunnery and the archbishop was coming by and they didn't have anything for him. So they put what they could in, in, a, in, in a pot and let it reduce. Um, they killed a mm -hmm. turkey. The only meat that they had at that time was a turkey. Um, and then they threw that in, in the reduction and they served it the way that you served uh, this and uh, he fell in love with it. And mole is just sort of an explosion of different flavors. It has chocolate and yep. or peanut butter yes. and or raisins. Yep. And you get spicy, things. you get sweet, you get nutty, you get some bread in there. It's, it's an all around uh, uh, great Mexican food. And I wanted us to try before we get going too far Instead of using peanut butter, we used a peanut butter beer, and one that we've actually tried last year on the show from Belching Beaver, their peanut butter stout. Mm -hmm. I wanted you to get a taste of it. Sure, let's uh, let's, let's see what it's all about. Let me just give you a little bit of that, enough to give you a sense of what we're doing. So this is one of the beers that you uh, you cooked with. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So if you give that a smell. Whoa. Yeah, peanut butter. <laughs> it's like, yeah, it's... it's liquid peanut butter with alcohol in it. Now let's give it a quick taste. Quick, drinky. quick taste. And that's very pronounced peanut butter. Oh yeah, that is, that is delicious. And we also had two different variations of chocolate in there. We had the BBH chocolate variation and we also have Clanchu's uh, Luchador and Fuego. Ooh, wrestler on fire. Just a little hint. And this has more of the Mex Mexican style spices in it. Oh yeah, that's a, that actually does smell like just your normal you know, mole sauce that you buy mm -hmm. off the shelf. Let's give it a drink. It's really boozy, but you also get the chocolate and Mexican oh, spices yeah, yeah. in there. So yep. all that went in there. Let's so uh, give it a try, Clinky Edie. Clinky Edie. Let's, uh, let's see what we have here. The mole is typically served on poultry such as chicken or turkey. Mm. It's very good, it tastes I was a little scared of how it was going to turn out because I varied the recipe a little bit and it's actually very good. So yeah, it, it is really good. Um, the, the one difference that I'm used to, I mean, I'm used to having it, you know, homemade, but the, the one difference is that you can taste is, is the tomatoes. The tomatoes give it a pronounced... Yeah. It, it's, it's a different, you know, it, it adds a tomato taste yeah. to something that I'm not really used to, but it's actually, yeah. it's actually really good. Something that I would... Uh, I would ask for again at a restaurant. Oh, and by the way, this is how we made it. In a pot, add one chopped medium onion, three minced cloves of garlic, and two cups or 480 milliliters of tomatoes to two tablespoons or 30 milliliters of oil, and cook on medium low heat for 10 minutes, stirring occasionally. Add one cup or 480 milliliters of raisins and one can chipotle jalapeno with one tablespoon or 15 milliliters of the adobo sauce from the can and two tablespoons or 30 milliliters of red chili powder. Mix and cook for another 15 minutes on medium high heat. Place the mixture in a food processor or blender. Add one cup or 480 milliliters of a peanut butter beer, such as Belching Beaver Peanut Butter Stout, the same amount of a non-sweet chocolate beer, like Carbox BBH Chocolate Porter, one quarter cup or 60 milliliters of a chocolate and cinnamon beer, like Clown Shoes Luchador and Fuego, and, oh, 
It probably would have been okay just to add the beer to the pot. Blend the mixture until smooth, then return it to the pot. Add one quarter cup or 60 milliliters of a strong chili beer like Twisted Pines Billy's Chilies and the same amount of a jalapeno beer like No Label Brewing's Don Jalapeno. Stir and let the mixture reduce for around an hour. So with that, I can't stop eating. I know. I'm going to finish it. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And we will see you on Wednesday for our uh, arroz. Well, I guess it's just arroz. So until then, beer bros out. <laughs>